Love, truly a divine emotion, especially during dark days. Love had motivated this mother to lay down her life for her cub. try and rouse her from eternal slumber, and it would be love welcoming the new orphan among the Bergsons. Welcome, friend, the shopkeep greeted. Don't mind the occasional bloodstain on the merchandise. eyes studied the one so willing to walk into their own tomb.
slowly beckon to bestow its peace. The Berkson could go no further. The path blocked. The life crystal, as if filled to the brim with life, started to pulse. A way had opened, a step closer to the spirit at the heart of the caves. But before taking that step, Caution dictated a return to home to inform the family of the newfound passage. Worried for the missing boy, Ben thought that maybe he should have hidden the daggers better. Margaret, in her wisdom, knew that nothing would have remained hidden from Kevin forever. Now, she only encouraged her son and his daughter to hurry and find him. Kevin returned from his saga with barely a scratch, yet he found no appreciation from his family, especially his father. Despite having Linda on his side, his father was still mad at him for endangering himself and worrying them all, including his pregnant mother. His favorite line, asking how he could be so inconsiderate. He wondered whether Uncle Ben would understand his bravery and initiative better. With his heroic act unrecognized, the young boy waited, frustrated, expecting more punishment. What Kevin had not expected was his parents' reaction. Heartened by his courage, his father was going to teach him the ways of battle, and his mother was far from the frail and always worried housewife she had seemed. A Berkson through and through, she gave him her blessing and asked only that he temper his courage with caution. Perhaps Uncle Ben was the happiest of them all. Not only had his nephew held his own in combat, but had done so with the weapons he had made for him. Kevin only wished his older brother Mark was there to witness his rise to the family calling. Defeated, the Spider King had been removed from the path leading to the halls of Anaya Dyer. Although the pestering of greedy goblins might still prove dangerous along the way. Uncle Ben was pointing out possible routes forward, speaking of the troubles pilgrims had run into in the lost trenches.
Although in the safety of the Bergson's house, the young cub was not yet free from danger. Exhaustion racked the animal's body, its chest heaving for even the smallest of breaths. The family believed several plants found deep in the nearby caves combined together could serve to remedy the situation.